Welcome to another installment of Bear Bottle Does Tasty Notes or Describes a Beer, I'm not sure. My name is Magic John. You may remember me from such films as Hoppy Gilmore, The Malt Lot, and Beauty and the Yeast. Today, we are going to be talking about Birds of a Feather. This is an awesome collaboration beer we did with Town Coffee Roasters to celebrate the opening of the new Whole Foods. We'll talk about this coffee amber ale. It is a play off of their snowy plover. It's an iced espresso sparkling coffee drink with a little bit of whipped cream on it. Uh, house-made cream, house-made simple syrup, their house-made espresso, and just delicious deliciousness it's kind of like what a frappuccino really should taste like well, let's get to trying this beer snowy plover for those of you who don't know is that bird that you see often on ocean beach native to the area the beer itself is this beautiful brown amber it's got a haze to it which so does the snowy plover nice tan head medium high carb Beautiful, beautiful, rich coffee aroma. You just can't get over. And at the same time, the weirdly, you can smell a little bit of the hop character coming through, the East Kent Goldings. Oh, just, this tastes like the way a bag of coffee smells. Uh, of course, we had to use their coffee. We used their Shoreline coffee, uh, which is one of their darker roasts. The way we add coffee to this is probably not the way you'd expect. We don't grind it and then add it to a tank or make a cold brew and add it to the tank. Those are both viable methods and they create different characters. But the Snowy Plover in itself isn't this giant roasty drink. So we wanted to make sure we express the coffee without making this overly roasty. So instead of adding the grounds, we ended up adding the whole beans. And what ends up happening is you extract all the beautiful oils and character and you get this super fresh coffee aroma and flavor without that roast. It's pretty remarkable. We often use it in combination with ground coffee as well to provide a different depth, but the Snowy Plover being iced, lighter drink, we wanted to capture just those light coffee aromas. But in order to capture that, you also need a ton of coffee. So this batch, which is only a half a tank for us, is 80 pounds of coffee, uh, which is impressive. Yeah. The crystal malt comes through real nice without being, being cloying. I think that English yeast character helps provide some heft and body so it isn't just this one dimensional sweet thing. You do get brown sugar, you do get like light fruity, almost stone fruit. Like if you think about it, don't think about it too hard. Coffee is the star of the show here. There is also a tiny, tiny bit of vanilla. What vanilla does is it helps, you know, provide depth and body as well. It rounds out characters and beers. We use vanilla a lot to help just soften edges. It does have a cream, but cream doesn't necessarily have vanilla. So it also provides a little bit of creaminess without being over the top vanilla. Vanilla is a great tool. You can use it to make a vanilla beer or just something to round out your beers as well. You, most people probably think of these kind of light amber or blonde coffee beers that they should be on nitro and this skirts that trope. Snowy Plover, it's sparkling. Like, if you've ever had a sparkling Italian coffee, it's awesome, and this takes it to a whole new level. For homebrew, some tips for making this beer, um, which you should. This is one of the easier beers, I think, to do on the homebrew scale. You gotta make a delicious amber, which is pretty easy. Very little hop, but the coffee. The coffee is where it's at. If you normally add a pound of coffee to a five gallon batch, maybe try two pounds or three pounds, but without grinding it up. It's actually a lot less messy, and you still get that beautiful aroma. So you can use the exact same coffee that we use, or go out and find your favorite. Uh, I do recommend something on the slightly darker side if you're going to use whole bean, because the coffee character needs to punch through. Even uh, though a light roast coffee might be something with, that you drink pour over or a French press of, those characters are slightly different. They show up differently in a beer. They're more green and don't come through as that rich coffee character that you know and love. Uh, until next time, good luck, have fun, enjoy the beer, enjoy all our beers, but drink this one especially. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>